it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness and we are continuing on with that humongous 40 pound box and this is part four so let's hope we can try to move it along today and uh, get you all squared away okay the next piece is okay the cord ugh, the cord is destroyed but the pendant is a nice glass pendant but it looks like at first I thought that was a flower okay it looks like there's a mushroom so take that how you will. It's still cute. I like the, I like the form. Uh, black and white fashion. These kind of feel like painted wood. Very nice. Like that. Oh, another. We had this, we had the same thing in pink. Now we have it in purple. Nice heavy shell. Again, I think that would go great with a bohemian lot. Fashion, bright red set of beads. This would be great for Christmas, which we are right around the corner. Now I have a dog drinking. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're just gonna have to, gonna have to. She drinks a lot like a camel, right? All right, we have very, very cute fashion. This is in that really bright gold nice fashion piece hmm no mark all right long this is probably 24 inches okay not cool and cool all right so we have uh, silver tone we have the black beads and then these are not sure what kind of stone that is but those are stone so it has a great color like a little pop of color, but not too much. Oh, this would go, I think, great with a lot too. You know what? We ended up with a beautiful Bohemian lot, but then we ended up with so many other pieces from other boxes that I think would complement that lot so well. Like this one has a nice heavier chain. And these are probably all plastic, but it has this pen, well, not the pen, that, that, this is actually metal, but it has beautiful movement on that pendant, but the overall composition, it's a nice cohesive piece. Really enjoy that piece. Very nice. Wow, this is like the necklace that's never stopping. I don't know if these are shell. I think these may be glass. Hang on, I can't see through them. All right, look at this blue. This is probably five feet, maybe even six. This is long as, and unruly. <laughs> All right, so we have the glass beads in the middle and all of that, kind of that diamond cutting look to them, so it has a lot of pop. And then the heaviness of these shell pieces. Wow, that that is, look at that color, look at the, my lighting's a little weird today. We're having a little bit of, a little bit of overcast, even though it's gonna be like 90 today, ugh. So, neat, ugh, okay, I'm loving that one. Okay, this looks very similar to the red one we had and the gold one. Like the color. Is this one? I don't think this is one. Okay, this is one. Oh, the end is broke. It is broken. Oh, all right, well. Okay, we have some faux amber in a couple of different sizes. So we have faux amber beads and then these gold tone beads. You know, a lot of a lot of gals really love the kind of that swirly amber look. This has some great shapes. But unfortunately, this end is a cute little 
clasp, but the end only has one part of it. So, oh, well, that's too bad, but that'd be great for beads. That's still going to go in my section. Big, nice shell. You know, I'm not, can I think these are glass, but they just don't feel really heavy enough to be. I will, you know, do the little clinking test and everything, but we got to, we've got to finish this box. We are never going to finish. Oh, I love this. Again, no signature. All right. Look at these. Look at these rhinestones. Look how big they are. We have that fashion backing. It's a little old. You can see where the, the silver tone is starting to wear off. Obviously, somebody wore this a lot. Look at that. Oh, kind of reminds you of like crown jewels a little bit. The Queen of Hearts. Oh, that'd be great for a costume for the Queen of Hearts. Tell me that wouldn't be fabulous. That is fun, fun, fun. This is a super, super long, I'll do it in fourths, wooden bead necklace. Obviously dyed. Ugh. Fun. I love that. And then we go to a much lighter weight plastic that is meant obviously to look more like like an onyx and pearl so you get that great look but without the weight so that is double strand love that that looks that looks fabulous then all of a sudden we have a random earring which oh is really stuck in there you know what we'll worry about it later So we've got silver. You know, these look like the uh, the beads from Hawaii that looks like somebody covered. And these just look like silver tone beads. I have some condition, a little bit of condition issue or some of the silver's coming off, but still fun. That is still a very fun piece. All right, let's see if I can't get this out of here without making a mess. Ugh, again with the, uh, I need the white gloves. This would have been, <laughs> this necklace too would have been good for that. It has kind of that grimy feel at the moment. And we've got plastic beads. We've got plastic beads. That is a nice big uh, glass piece right there. And then we have a nice glass piece that is encased in kind of a brass tone. That is a nice heavy uh, station right there and then we've got another glass more plastic two more nice big uh, these are probably ceramic I'm gonna say these are ceramic pieces and then it, we head down to a drop a pendant and that feels ceramic kind of feels a little ceramic-y too and then you've got these great shapes down here that has a lot going on <coughs> excuse me that has a lot going on. My favorite station is this one. That is a heavy glass piece right there. Love it. Love that. Beautiful. Wow, we ended up with a lot of long necklaces. This is almost a station or a statement piece almost. Look at all of those glass beads. And that color, that kind of icy, that icy blue. Tell me this wouldn't be great for winter. Oh, and it feels so cool. Oh, nice cool to the touch. And all the faceting that went into that. Okay, well, you know where that's going right next to me. Okay, wow, did we end up with, uh, we ended up with a lot of, Okay, this is, I'm going to do this in fourths. Look how long this is in fourths. 
these are cool also so uh maybe carnelian maybe coral could be glass i have to take a look kind of open up one of these sections a little bit and take a look at the uh construction on the inside but oh that has a great silky feel to it that is a beautiful piece too all right let's see if i can't make some headway here <clears throat> oh that's two all right oh it looks like the same one all right well we have this multi-strand I'm not even looking for makers at this point. Okay, uh, multi-strand with the gold tone chain and gold tone beads. And so that's got four strands to it. And obviously whoever had this love, oh, this is a little, okay, well this one needs some help, but uh, they also have it in silver. So they have the same, but it, down here, oh, it's all, it's all cattywampus down here. So the, these two need a little tangling love. So we'll just put those over there. We will deal with that after. Another <clears throat> 24. It's got to be at least 24. This one, unfortunately, is starting to have some condition. Not a ton, but it looks like it's got some loss. A little bit of uh, base metal is starting to show through. I bet these are kind of that milk glass beading. They're nice and cool. Could also be, well, I mean, they could be like a, you know, like a quartz, but I'm going to say they're glass. Next up. Okay, loving this. And it's plastic. Ugh, another one of my vices right now. And look at all the different shapes. And it's the swirl. It's supposed to be the faux look. You know, the faux, probably um, turquoise look with the little bit of matrix look going on there. Oh, loving this with these, with the carved look. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. This... This poor soul is a little stretched. These kind of feel like carved bone, but you can see the, the space at the end like this. Let me move everything down so it has a little bit of stretching, but it's at the very end. I mean, I think you could still wear that without having, you know, too much issue. Very artisan, very bohemian chic. Um, a little pokey. <laughs> I personally would uh, probably injure myself on this, being the clog that I am. But I, I love the composition. That is a great, uh, a great shell to have in the middle. Nice. Love this. Again, it's filthy. Look at this big puffy heart. This extremely long necklace. Love that. Woohoo. Boy, we ended up with some great long pieces. Wow. I think that is one big piece of oh, very cold, nice big heavy piece of stone. And then it has all of these little drops. And that kind of looks like a lapis. And I uh, don't know what that is. Then it, we've got some silver tone and some gold tone. And it's on a little bit larger cord. Very nice. Again, we have, oh, I bet this was a price tag. Black and white, great color combo. Very classic. Um, 
little little scratched we'll have to see if it cleans up but not bad though at least the the white beads are still pretty white they don't look really you know have that grungy kind of look to them again i think these are either supposed to be like faux polymer clay beads or maybe a faux stone they're plastic but they have a great look to them very nice very wearable have another very long wood and plastic and, and the little dyed shell very um, very fall looking colors again nice big wooden beads nice big chunky and some gold tone these are plastic to probably keep the weight down these three beads alone they've got a little little heft to them so very nice piece very nice all right okay this looks to me like a throwback where they make the coin jewelry but instead of using a real coin they have used this is supposed to like represent, it says 20D on it. 1776 on a fashion chain. Do we have another one of these? We do. I don't see Mark. These are lighter weight, a pair of uh, black lighter weight cufflinks Those over here oh, these are a little heavier weight little little not so much on the front but a little bit of wear Let's see if one of these is be lucky enough to be marked Don't see one on that. Nope, I don't see anything on these either. Okay, silver tone. Nice. Okay, these have the the wrap around mesh. See if we're lucky enough to get a mark on one of these. We do. Don't know where my loop went. I get so much stuff running around. Let us see. Hadley. These are Hadley. H A D L E Y. Gold tone. Again with the black stone, pretty classic. Very nice. Oh, I am loving this. Hmm. And no mark. All right, this has the, the hook catch here. We've got these beautiful, I think they're glass, beautiful stones with the blue rhinestones. And then it leads down to this end, the larger one in the back. Doesn't have that fashion back at all. Wow. That is a stunning piece. I love this color. And it has a little weight to it too. All right. Not, I mean, it's not overly heavy. Loving that. Oh, these look old and oh, a little stretched. Look at these. Ugh, little stretch, but you know what? I would, they have that kind of that, that look, that older look. I would certainly just leave them 
I mean, you can see here, little cord. I leave them. I mean, you're not, this is at the back of your neck. You're not going to see that. Oh, I love that. Loving that. I'm making noise. Made in China. Um, these look very real. Um, you know, with the Baroque, these are not perfectly round. They are not uniform by any means. Okay, the clasp is magnetic, but I'm not sticking these in my mouth. But they're new. I, at least they look new with this little tag. Um, I'm going to say these, these, these have a really good chance of being new. All right, well, let's put those aside. This has a broken end. Hmm. And a very nice, not magnetic clasp. So I guarantee you this end broke off. Uh, it is hand knotted. These have a really nice feel to them. I have a feeling, and they're not all exactly uniform either. So I bet these are real too. Uh, depending on how much they are, you can have a new end put on or you can just harvest them for the pearls use them for something else it is pretty labor intensive i know you know it is not my goodness what's going on here i know it is not an inexpensive fix by any means i mean our jeweler here in town they are a lapidary so they can do a wide array of wow okay this is probably six feet altogether of repairs it just depends on how I mean you can buy a set of pearls now for you know 29 bucks so I don't know but we'll look okay this hang tag it says something but boy it's really where did I do here but the hang tag is kind of beat up it says Ali Khan out of New York, Alley Con, New York. So see how tarnished. The, so here's the front of. Wow. You know what? I think this box is fighting back. It wants to be over too. See how tarnished the back is. I'll have to take a look at this. Alley Con, New York. My goodness, it really is loving these clusters. These are uh, glass beads. So you've got several stations with these clusters and then the gold tone chain into the metallic beads and then just the AB covered beads. But this blue, look at this color. I don't want to double it on itself. It's going to catch on these, I don't know, they almost kind of look like grapes. Let's go like this. You can still see it. That is, that is gorgeous. Look at those. Well, we know where this is going, don't we? Okay, right over here. I just have to hope that Steven just doesn't watch this video. Ah, <laughs> uh, do we have an end? Do we have an end? What's going on here? Oh, another really super long. This one says Elfani. Okay. So this has these glass stations. It has almost, um, it doesn't have that, you know, they're really inexpensive uh, backing. Uh, these are clear encrusted rhinestone. All right, I think. We have a little bit of a hot mess going on. Let's see. Let's see if I can't shimmy and shake everybody around. You know what? Okay, I just don't think everyone's going to be on the same page here. Let's see. We'll get the gist of it. Okay, we have a ton of graduating sizes here of encased, looks like abalone shell. And then a few charms scattered. And we have this silver tone. 
Okay, there's a mark. The Silvertown Chain. Let's see. I think. Okay, that's Premier Design. That's their mark. So that is a great, it's got a great look. A lot of movement. There is a ton of movement in that piece. Okay, this one's marked too. You know what? I think the child has marked us as the best for last. I love this, this clasp. This is Monet. Look at this clasp. Look at that lobster claw. How cool is that? All right, so we have multi-chain gold tone. So we have gold chain, and then it goes to a singular section with almost, it almost looks like that snail design, but it's got a little more dimension. And that comes back to the multi, multi strands of chain back to the singular, you know, snail chain again, followed by the end being the multi strand. Wow. I have, and it's long too. I, I bet you anything this thing is, you know, 50 inches long or better. Wow, I have never seen this. We have seen a lot of Monet, both online and both what we've been lucky enough to find in our lots, but I have never seen that. Wow. Loving that. Love that. Look at, look at this tiny hang tag. Look at, look how tiny this is. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna read this without my magnifying glass. Hang on. This is also Monet. This is a braided silver tone chain. But look at the braid work. That is in really beautiful shape. You know, for a box this size, to have this thing in this kind of shape, that is fabulous. This one. one says Korea so I'm going to say it's either um, has a great feel maybe gold over although I didn't see anything that indicated gold over but that has a great great luster very nice that is nice okay this does not have a hang tag but this has a beautiful, beautiful look. And um, well, okay, this was either intended to be an open, an open-ended necklace with two really nice pieces of tiger's eye and somebody added almost this lariat section here or it's designed that way and then one of these is just a hair the drop is just a hair longer than the other I don't know you decide but either way that is fabulous precious. The good thing about this box is that even though Lauren and I pretty much had to unpack everything because she and I kind of split the duties with that, I didn't get to see everything. She didn't get to see everything. So a lot of this is going to be a new experience for us. And that's exciting because unpacking a box 
you know, before you, you know, you get to film and you get to see it and the excitement, it, it's a downer. And so the good thing is that we had so much stuff that, you know, we ended up with quite a little um, surprise for both of us. So when she got to see the first part of the videos and whatnot, a lot of it was new to her too. So that was great. This has a wonderful little mother of pearl flower and these little tiny glass drops. And this is a, a heavy, um, heavier braid or stiff braid. It has these beautiful matching, smaller, I wouldn't be surprised if these were uh, Swarovski crystals on and these they look like rose quartz but I, I think they're glass beads and all the way to the little tie um, Shambhala I think is the bracelet a uh, style I think this has the same kind of closure and this one is Cookie Lee uh, as being as sweet as it is you could so see that that is just <laughs> that is beautiful Hey, this is a little dirty. You can even, you can just see it. It's, um, yeah, dirty. It's dirty. We have the charms. And we have the little tiny Lucky Brand charm, right? Okay, let's, let's, oh, la, la, la. I caught him right there. All right, nice. We'll clean this this cutie up. Okay, you always know something is well made when it has the safety chain and this safety chain is still intact. This is beautiful red enamel, gold tone with the latch and the safety chain that is beautiful and this has the tiniest little tag right there I don't know if you can see that little tag um I can't see this little tag <laughs> I need my better loop uh, this is Monet that is absolutely stunning beautiful Let go. I have everything trying to clasp onto everything else. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a very stiff, boy this thing does not, this doesn't bend. There's not a lot of give here. And a lot of crud. Well, Okay, I'm going to take a stab and say this is 925, but until I clean all that off, I'm not going to know. Hmm. I'm going to say the little spring, because it's not, it's only right here. So I'm going to say the spring is in here, because this part isn't, but that part right there is. And... Oh, it says, I love you, mom. I don't know if you can see that. I move that around just a hair. The light catches it just right. So I'm gonna say this is sterling silver. Oh, the boy, this thing has no, look at, I mean, this has no give whatsoever. We'll be very careful. Um, if this is any indication, I tell you right now, this uh, location, as mangled as everything was that we couldn't get anything out, uh, they did a really great job of sorting any silver and gold before it ever got to the bins. So I'm going to say this location because this is really other, um, I think this is it. I think we have one maybe gold plated piece, gold over maybe. I don't recall, but either way, uh, this location did a great job of taking out precious metals. So, and we have had this bracelet before. This is a beautiful uh, crystal tennis bracelet. 
and it was Avon and I'm 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 positive yes this is Avon uh, we had one other even before we started filming we ended up with a jar that you know before they really started you know going through everything and giving you junk we ended up with a jar that had like 12 pieces of Avon and they were all they were all beautiful they were in great condition and uh, like I said, I mean, this is no exception. This is a beautiful, a beautiful uh, bracelet. And we have one last thing. And then we are done. Then we can move on. I'm not going to say that, you know, I've got a couple of boxes coming. I'm not talking about it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not admitting anything. This is a beautiful necklace it is double strand it has this heart and then this bow and the necklace has it's not just a standard necklace it has like these little extra little bead stations here that are in the as part of the necklace and I can tell you already I know that little that little tag that would be Betsy Johnson I love her work in fact, um, I just sold uh, a piece of her work. In fact, it was the first piece I sold from uh, out of the YouTube family, and I want to thank her very much. Um, it's on its way. You should have it Monday. Just letting you know. Anyway, this is a beautiful piece. I love this piece. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell this piece. I love that heart. That heart is, is just so stinking cute. Okay, this is it drum roll please thank you so much for sticking with us for all four it's been an up and down ride for 40 pounds um you know this is what we have for precious metals but again you know these are the pieces we want to find actually you know this is what you live to find so it was a it was an interesting experience i don't know if we'd do 40 pounds again 40 pounds is pretty daunting but all in all, we are better people for trudging through, <laughs> trudging through it. And we do, we have some beautiful pieces that I'm really, really grateful to have. So thank you, thank you, thank you again for joining us, for subscribing, for commenting. We love hearing from you, um, you know, for emailing me. We really appreciate it. Again, stay with us. We have an exciting video uh, coming up with some updates. And we have two more boxes coming, so stay with us. Thank you so much. Take care. We'll see you next time.